we just stand comfortably, hips width apart, and establish my base of support with my eyes open. Now we go with administering the first exam. I want you to stand without assistance and your arms folded across your chest. So that is one thing. You're going to take your hands and cross your palms, put them on your opposite ch shoulders, and hold them there. And you're going to just say, when you're ready, close your eyes and you will watch your clock and get a 30 second count. So again, if this is your assessment, you wanna make sure you have a watch that's digital and a second hand would work on this one for 30 seconds and or if you have your phone with you and you can put it on timer, that would be great. So once they finish 30 seconds there, and that may not have been exactly 30 seconds and they're doing fine, then you decide let's progress to the next one. They get a point if there was no sway, they weren't visibly moving from side to side, and they reached all 30 seconds. So award them one point and then move to the next. And obviously, if they didn't get the point and you felt they were at risk there, don't move on. So standing feet together. So you're going to instruct them to please bring your feet together, fold your arms once again across your chest, palms on your shoulders. And eyes open. With this one right away, the eyes are going to be closed. So as I did the practice even, I did it incorrectly and I um, gave you the instruction that you're going to do eyes open. So this is eyes closed again with feet together. So we kind of increase things by two ways, making it more difficult. And close from outside information. 30 seconds when they begin. And I've got my eyes closed just to show you a little bit. So a little bit of sway if you're watching my lower leg, and that's normal, it's actually okay. But you'll notice in some, especially in the, the older population that's there, who may be a little bit more deconditioned, you'll notice even more sway. So if they get nervous, hopefully they'll just open their eyes, they may take a step, and that's okay, but that would then zero their points, okay? Third one, I'd like you to stand unsupported with one foot in front of the other. So I'm gonna stand sideways so you can see that a little bit better. So essentially, you're gonna have them stand in a tandem or a stagger stance, but this piece is important. You wanna make sure that they are toe to heel. So if you've got some people who do it this way and some people who do it this way, this is easier because base of support is bigger. And the protocol for the test and the test norms is here. So 30 seconds again, eyes are open on this one, but standing unsupported, place one foot directly in front of the other, heel to toe, and hold for 30 seconds. Now hands, they may actually want to put on their hips. They don't have to cross them over their chest, but floating them around at the side and moving them will not help as much as they think that it might. So have them wherever they are, hold them still and you can let them choose. So nobody told me which leg to put forward. I set up in my preferred pattern, and that's what they should do too, and they don't have to do both sides. One is fine. And then once your 30 seconds is up, if they make it, say excellent job, give them their point. Or if they don't make it to 30, just stop the test and say, okay, very good. You got some information from that one. That's one thing that you'll need to work on and then send them on their way and you can go on with your testing.